Hi guys, Coach Aramis here in St. Petersburg, Florida to give you a really quick tutorial on how to do a swing to handstand. So if you're a gymnast or a calisthenics athlete, this video will help you. You know the vibes. Let's get straight to it. Yeah. If mastering a swing to handstand on the parallel bars is one of your goals, just as you see here in this clip, then trust me, my friend, when I say you are in the right place. I recommend warming up with some dynamic jumping to handstands. Whether it's in a tuck position, in a straddle position, or in a pike position, you should absolutely gain that dynamic control on the ground in each of those shapes before bringing it to the parallettes or the P-bars. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm also focusing on the negative. If you want the full control on the parallel bars, you must master it on the floor. And if you guys need, you know the vibes, you can always do wall-assisted handstands as well. Moving on to the next warm-up, since you have mastered it on the floor, I recommend going straight to the parallel bars and warming up a solid handstand hold. Not too dynamic, nice and controlled, just to get comfortable with the height. If you feel good doing that, then you're ready to hit those jumping handstands just as you did on the floor. Starting with the tuck, in my opinion, it is the easiest because all you have to do is get your hips right above your hands or your shoulders. Other than that, jump to straddle is definitely rated level two for me. <laughs> if you're not flexible, though, this rating might be different for you. But I spend a lot of time stretching, so the straddle variations I love. And last but not least, hitting that jump to pike handstand. For me, that one is the most difficult to control, but to each their own. All right, once you've mastered all of those and you feel confident just being upside down on the tall parallel bars, I think you are ready to rock and roll. I'm really hot, it's really humid, so let's get ready to rumble with step number one, where all you're gonna do is practice swinging and pushing the parallel bars away from you. Notice how I'm trying to casually get my hips up. That way I'm ready for step number two, where I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to try to float my hips up a little higher so I can get my feet onto the parallel bars. Each time I try to float a little, little more or a little bit more just to gain control. Step number three, if you've mastered those, you are going to swing pop and hit that jump to handstand. Again, I recommend going through all three. I always start with the tuck and I always hit a controlled negative before going on to the swing to pop straddle. The key for these is to just get the hips above the shoulders and the wrist. Once you're there, then you'll slowly transition into your straight line handstand. Finishing strong with the swing to popping pike handstand, you really want to take your time with that one. Once your hips are on top of the shoulders, you can slowly lift the legs up and hit a controlled negative. Number four, we're going to kind of bring it all together without that stop. You're just going to swing straight to a tuck handstand, but notice how I pause in the tuck. The name of the game is control. Handstands are a lot more simple when they are slow and controlled. So when you're doing a dynamic handstand, don't be afraid to do it in slow-mo first. I did the same thing with the straddle and notice here at the pike, I just get those hips up, really focus on the core compression before I raise my legs. And once I'm done that, I'm ready to speed it up with level five where we go right into it. Dynamic swinging tuck to handstand dynamic swinging straddle to handstand and of course finishing strong with that dynamic swinging to pike handstand once you've mastered all of these and you're feeling like you have the control like a pro you are ready to put it into a flow again freestyle is all about having fun if you want to learn any of these tricks i have a straddle roll tutorial and so much more but yeah that's how you know you got it like a pro when you add it in a flow. Don't worry, I freestyle too. Anyways, guys, I love you all. That is all I got for you for today. Don't mind my important here's a who bun for my sweat. It's a humid day, but I love this stuff. I love Florida. If you guys have not had the chance to ever visit St. Petersburg, Florida, one, you're missing out, and two, I absolutely think you should make it a to-do thing on your bucket list. So, I mean, come on doesn't get much better than this thank you for all the love all the support every comment every view every share you know the vibes i'll see you next monday
बाय